This is the Padcaster. These can be checked out in the library. They are stored in the back room. Once you've checked out your Padcaster, you'll be able to create quality video and audio. Each Padcaster comes with a bunch of different accessories to help you, including a green screen and a stand. Accessories are mounted all along the outside of the Padcaster unit. The tripod allows for easy and smooth movement. Also included is a shade to help with video viewing in outdoor or bright locations. Over the lens of the iPad is a teleprompter unit that works with any phone and a free app called Parrot by Padcaster. This allows you to give quality speeches while maintaining appropriate eye contact. Along one edge, you will find inputs for both microphones and headphones. The Padcaster comes with two microphones. Along the top is a unidirectional microphone, and on the side is a all-direction microphone. Also along the top, you will find a LED light that is battery powered and turned on and off with the switch in the back. Once the Padcaster is set up, turn on the iPad by holding the power button down for approximately eight seconds on the top. Newer iPads do not have the home button we're used to. Instead, everything's touchscreen. Open the camera for the iPad and test it. Make sure you select video and not photo. Always test your video and audio before starting your recording. When you're ready to record, push the round record button so it turns to a square and then begin. When done, push the same button to stop. To view the video you just recorded, click the small thumbnail underneath the record button. If your video is good, it's time to upload. Slide up to leave the camera, open up Safari, and log into your Google Drive account using your school credentials. Students can do this just as teachers can. Once logged in, click New, File Upload, Photos and Videos. I like to use the recent option as that'll show the most recent photos and videos and then done. And you should see the file uploading in the lower right corner. Now your file is stored off of the iPad. When we're done, we need to make sure we clean off the iPad of our photos and videos. In the camera roll, select all of the photos and videos you've taken and put them in the garbage can. Also, make sure you go into Safari and log out of your Google account as shown. Lastly, turn off the iPad. To do this, you have to hold the top power button and the volume down button simultaneously, which will give you the option to turn the iPad off. Be courteous and return all of the accessories to a usable position for the next user. Make sure the headphones are mounted on the side. Ideally, the sunshade is closed and any cables and wires are wrapped up as shown. The green screen and backpack hang on a hook at the center point of the tripod. Use the teleprompter, make sure you remove your phone, and don't forget to slide the cover back over the teleprompter unit. You're ready to return the Padcaster back to its home in the back of the library area. Please make sure to plug the iPad in for the next user. When you plug the iPad in, it may return itself back on. Please shut it down before leaving. So what's in the backpack? Strapped to the outside of the backpack is a tripod for the green screen. Inside the backpack, you will find a number of different accessories. In the back flap, you'll find documentation and paperwork if you have any questions that haven't been answered. You will also find a lapel microphone, which is great for recording your voice if you're not near the camera. It is wired, but it has a very long cable. You'll find two lenses included, a wide angle and telephoto lens. How to use these lenses is shown at the end of the video. For recording sound in outdoors or windy places, a microphone cover is included. In the bag, you should find a cleaning kit, also a Bluetooth remote control for your phone to control the Parrot app at the teleprompter. When done, return all the equipment back to the backpack and please strap the green screen back to the outside and hang the backpack on the tripod as you found it. To use the lenses, the first act is to remove the teleprompter unit by pushing it upwards, then unscrew the connecting flame. With your selected lens, remove the dust cap, then carefully screw the lens over the camera 
making sure not to cross thread and remove the lens cap. When done, put the lens cap back on, unscrew the lens, return the dust cap, and put the lens back in its protective bag. Back on. First, screw back on the connecting plate. Then, slide the teleprompter down onto the plate as shown. 